You want in now? I just locked the door. No, you're staying out. So we came out this morning and we heard a, a bird. Pretty sure it was a peacock. Wanna go find the bird? Yeah. All right, hey, try not to wipe your hands on your shirt. No, 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 keep the mud off the chair. I'm making my friend chair. You're making it all muddy. <laughs> I'm making my friend chair. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh no, hang on, stop that. You ready? Let's go get the bird. Like Let's go see what kind of bird it is. It's like it. You all clean? Not yet. Not yet. Better now? Let's do it. Put it in your chair. <laughs> put it in my pocket. Yeah, let's go find the bird. Do you think the bird's up here? Yeah. Where's the birdie? The birdie. Casey. Casey. Birdie, come here. Birdie. Birdie. Poop. Is he up there? Yeah. No, that bird could be right there. Whoa. Big Daddy Bird? Yeah. Is that a peacock? Mama Bird though. I think he's looking for a Mama Bird. Yeah. Mommy Bird! That's a Daddy Bird. Yeah. When, get old man? when I back up, I don't have to worry about you. You have back up? How are your feet all muddy? You gotta get new socks. All right, let's start the truck so we can warm up. Oh, you got lucky, Smokes. Maybe more than one. I don't even know how I used to back up without a camera. It's just like, it's too easy. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Where are you at? There you are. Let's go get some stuff. What are we doing today, Olivia? Uh, Grandpa's. We're gonna go to Grandpa's? Yeah. Yeah, we'll stop by there, huh? You hear the peacock? So today, our plan, we're going to, I'm playing Mr. Mom first of all. Uh, her daycare got canceled due to the, uh, the storm. And uh, so today I wanna go get some materials so that I have stuff to do uh, in case I doubt it's gonna happen, but in case the uh, stores might be closed, the hardware stores. I don't think the store stores will be closed. But I just wanna get some stuff so that I don't have an excuse not to do anything. Um, so, let's go get ready for some projects. Thinking ahead. Oh, I should've graveled this driveway a while back. <laughs> hey, hey, Daddy! Hey, what? You push your button. I push the button. Yeah. What do the sheep say? Ma. Ba. Ba. Ba.
what we're in the market for today is uh, some lodge poles or uh, wooden fence posts. That's all they got for selection of lodge poles. Not gonna work for me. Yep. Is that a baby tractor? Daddy's big, huh? No. That's a mommy tractor. It's off. Yeah. All right, let's go to the store and get some. Let's go to a different store. We went to the second place, which is more of a dedicated fence place uh, instead of a tractor and a feed store and all that stuff. And birdie food? They had birdie food there? Yeah. And uh, this place definitely has a better uh, selection quality stuff, I guess, because they cycle through it a lot more than than your feed stores. But uh, we got that stuff loaded up. So you want to say hi to Chips? Let's yeah. back this trailer up and uh, head to Grandpa's. I want to say hi. Chicks. You want to say hi to the chicks? Yeah. They don't have any chickens right now. They had little little electric chickens, huh? I think we have a slight situation. I went to go find her puddle jumping boots. I only got one. Oh no. Uh oh, mom's not gonna be happy. You ready? Go see grandpa? Yeah. All right. He's in there. No, he's in the house. Yeah. Keep your germs away from grandpa. Oh. Yeah, let's go see grandpa. I think he's inside. Going up. You gonna take the, the short way? Over there? I think I got this parenting thing down. Hit the dirt road and she goes nap nap. <laughs> nice. Yeah, listening to the uh oh, the trailer is noisy. Listening to the radio. It seems uh pretty interesting how things the uh, chain of events are, are happening. San Francisco and like six other counties around it are uh, on lockdown, shelter in place. Hopefully all those people have everything they need and I know that we're prepared, but you know, it's not necessarily scare tactic, but I think that it's probably, being that we're in Northern California, I mean, it, for us and probably maybe you out there it's probably coming near you or to you so nice well that's good now I won't be in complete trouble with mom. <laughs> Found the shoe. Got the materials we were going for. The uh, <clears throat> pipe. Pops had it sitting around the um, his ha his place, just kind of sitting there. I got a little bit here, but for the project I want to do, I want to I want to make sure I have enough of it. Um, this here we're going to use for garden beds. That'll be a pretty interesting little project. I'm also going to use some uh, recycled decking on that project so we'll have that one in the burner and then the poles I got nine of them 
So I'm building a um, a garden and a chicken coop slash yard. I'm gonna dig my corners first. So I'm setting, I'm gonna dig the corners and then I'm gonna set these posts on the corners and then I'll string line in between those corners and that'll tell me where I'm digging all my uh, intermediate posts. But I think nine holes should be uh, enough work for, for at least two weeks. Plus, still got the siding to do and uh, splitting wood. So, I mean, there's, there's plenty to do, but this just uh, gives me some flexibility, you know, and, and just more to do in case I can't get those materials later on. But I doubt that's going to happen. But uh, I guess, you know, it's always good to be prepared. And nice part about being out in the country is, you know, you don't really have to stay inside. Uh, I understand that some people might have to be uh, locked in like an apartment or something like that. But uh, this will be nice to, to be out and about and digging holes and using my energy. You want to split a peanut butter and jelly? Here. Is that yummy? Thank you. My main focus for the next couple weeks, being as probably won't be working as much, they're talking about maybe possibly closing schools till, what is it, next fall? I don't know. This is all hearsay right now, so we'll see what happens. But my focus is going to be for the next couple weeks just pumping out as much content as I can, uh, building things, getting infrastructure set up around my home and giving you information and inspiration to go do your thing. I feel like uh, that homesteading is probably going to make some sort of resurgence after this. You know, people uh, looking back at this are going to be like, you know, we should be more prepared and uh, self-sustaining, you know, and taking care of themselves. Let me go in here, get my computer. Go sit next to the fire and get my edit on. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.